Yeah, yeah. Luke Pollard. say in part in this report, so I'll be very brief. Uh, community transport is a vital lifeline for people in the far southwest, both in rural areas right across Devon and Cornwall, but in big cities like Plymouth and Exeter as well. In my own patch, uh, Access Plymouth have been in touch, a superb community transport uh, provider who are very concerned about these changes. And my concerns about these changes were echoed in the report. The Transport Select Committee, I think, set out some very clear concerns about Section 19 and 22 permits highlighted the fact that the decisions taken by the DFT may have been taken with the best interests in mind, but have been done so in a haphazard way. And we set out a very clear set of recommendations that the government should follow in order to mitigate this circumstance. I'm very disappointed that has not happened. The DFT's management of this sector has been confused and needs proper clarification. I was hoping that our Transport Select Committee report would have done that and provide the basis for that clarification, the rationale for it, but it has not. So I hope this uh, debate will help give new uh, energy to the ministers. Local authorities are now following very, very different rules to the ones that they were following before. They are confused and are making very, very different decisions which are dis, uh, disadvantaging not only community transport providers but the communities that rely on them. Our recommendations were clear but they have not been followed and they have now been enacted very differently by local authority providers right across the country and by different community transport providers who are trying to interpret a very complex legal structure in a way where that's not where they have been doing so before. I think the window... The timing of our Transport Select Committee report was deliberate in so way that uh, concerns had been raised, <coughs> clarity had been communicated by the committee, and the window was there for the DFT to correct that before long-term damage had been caused to the community transport sector. I fear that window of opportunity has now closed, and the consequences of the DFT's inaction is that community transport providers are shedding volunteers, are shedding vehicles, and are reducing the service that they offer to some of our country's most vulnerable, uh, disabled and elderly people who desperately need community transport provision to help them get around their communities. I think there's a real risk that unless the government acts here, the confusion that has been caused by the DFT's action could lead to the death knell for community transport as it is currently structured. So I ask the Minister, please reread the Transport Select Committee recommendations and the experience of community transport providers. There's a real opportunity and a necessity to act swiftly before any further damage is done to that sector. Yeah.